All right, so we're teaching them all the skills that is necessary for success. Dressing sharply, looking somebody in the eyes, treating each other with respect. Um, and Pastor Hammond has been the, the brainchild and the, the chairman of the board of this. He meets with, with our students on a, on a regular basis, and they do a variety of things. Number one, there's Pastor Hammond teaching them just life skills. Oh, let me go back. All right, there's Pastor Hammond again. And Pastor Hammond, I'm going to give you a chance at the very end to, to say your part. But I wanted to get to the important part. One of the things that we taught them how to do was tie and tie. And I think all, all the men in this room remember the first time, or the first hundred times we tried. All right, so I grabbed two of my young people, Eli and Ever, if you take a step forward. And Eli is, I'm sorry, Ever is very, like, very reluctant. But he's going to show you, okay, if you take off your tie, how successful he was. This was a That's skill. A pressure, and he was over the, and I actually drove him tonight. And he's practicing in the car. And he's practicing. And he's like, the turn, I got it. We're ready. So every, would you show everyone your dressing for success skill? Mr. Hurley, I want one of those ties. <laughs> well, oh, one of the ties. <laughs> yeah. 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 Nice job, right. everyone. So, as you can see, we're already on the path to success. Now, Pastor Hammond, I, I thank his patience because that took a lot of time. Did a nice job, though. All right, so there we have our, our if you can see the pictures, we had our, our first session was our, our cat in the hat day. Um, and there we are. We're practicing tying our ties on each other. And I'm going back and forth. And there's Pastor Hammond again showing them the dressing for success. And there's Jamari, the finished product. <laughs> All right. I'm, I picked Jamari because our next skill, and I, if I can ask Jamari to step up, please. All right. Justin, step up, please. Our next skill was actually greeting somebody. So how do I how do approach an adult, look them in the eye, put a firm handshake out, and, you know, and basically speak with confidence. So I'm going to demonstrate what I showed these gentlemen, and what uh, actually Pastor Hammond showed these gentlemen. And we practice it. Anyone who comes in the building, any adult that comes in the building, we have our fifth graders, these gentlemen right here, are actually tasked with greeting those people. So I'm going to demonstrate that right now. <laughs> so, so not only are we dressed for success, but we're teaching my skills to look somebody in the eyes, to have respect for yourself. Have respect for yourself and have confidence in what you're saying. The next part, and there you can see our gentleman right there. There's our gentleman greeters. The top. Okay, and they're looking sharp. But our last part that we did, and probably the, the most, and uh, Miss Washington and Pastor Hammond set this up. And uh, I laugh because I know what the boys are about to go through. If any of us has been through a cotillion, okay, <laughs> these gentlemen sat through a cotillion class. Okay, of how to eat appropriately, what uh, utensils to use first, okay? And so we actually had the food brought in and cooked, okay? And so I've asked three of my gentlemen to step up, Anthony, Wyatt, and uh, Jordan, will you guys step up, please? And Anthony, I'm going to ask you if you can just give us a couple words about cotillion or, or eating at our table manners. You put your two spoons in X so they know you're not finished with your food. All right, so the waitress, yeah, so she won't take your plate. Wyatt and Jordan, could you give me something you learned? The big forks for the dinner and the smaller ones for the salad. That's correct. Good job, gentlemen. I'm sorry, Wyatt? The spoon on the top of the dessert. <laughs> the most important thing. But I asked the gentleman, and you'll see in the next picture, I asked the gentleman, was the food actually good? And you can see that they actually... There's the food before. I'll go back. So there's the, their, their dinner. You go back and you see it's almost all gone. <laughs> so, of course, these young gentlemen were, were starved during the day. Even the um, asparagus is gone. But at the end, I, I thought the Walt Disney quote, and I'll, get, I'll give Pastor Hammond a minute just to speak, but I thought this was probably what summarized our best, our gentlemen's club, uh, prep club. 
All our dreams can come true if we have the courage to pursue them by Walt Disney. And Pastor Hammond, you're the, uh, the steward of this club, so we'd like you to say a couple words about the gentleman. Thank you.